Today we're going to be talking about inequalities in triangles. And hopefully you had some conclusions from Sketchpad. And you don't need to write these down because you already have these on your notes from the worksheet from Sketchpad. First one. One side of a triangle is longer than a second side. Then the angle opposite the first is larger than the angle opposite the second. So our abbreviation for that is going to be um, longer side, longer, side gives larger angle. And then a second conclusion we had. If one angle of a triangle is larger than a second angle, then the side opposite the first is longer than the side opposite the second. So larger angle gives us the longer side. And then lastly, the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third. That is our triangle inequality theorem. Okay. Oh. Corollaries. There's two corollaries. Please make sure you guys have these in your notes. And it, they're really concepts. We don't use them a lot. But the perpendicular segment from a point to a line is the shortest segment. So what that means, from a point down to my line, that segment is the shortest segment. Because if you think about it, if you were to draw from the point down to the line, that's the shortest distance. And then the perpendicular segment from a point to a plane. So it's just another way of saying just now if I had in a plane. So I have a plane here, and if I drop down my perpendicular to that plane, that's going to be the shortest distance from this point down to our plane. Okay, is it possible to have a triangle with these three side lengths? So this is using that triangle inequality theorem. Take the two smaller sides, the two smaller sides, 6 plus 7. Does that, is that greater than 11? Well, 6 plus 7 is 13, so yes, that works. Take your two smaller sides, 3 plus 6. That equals 9. It's not greater than it, so this is... No, this would make up a segment. All right, next example. The lengths of two sides of a triangle are given. What are the possibilities for the third side? Okay, so let's call X our third side. So 15 plus 13 has to be greater than X, or 28 has to be greater than X. 15 plus x has to be greater than 13. So x has to be greater than negative 2. And 13 plus our third side x has to be greater than 15. Or x has to be greater than positive 2. So I know for sure x is less than 28. Now I need to figure out which one of these two to pick. And you pick the bigger one of those two. Because if you had a side, if x equaled 1, that would make this inequality not true. That would make a non-possible triangle because I would have 13 plus 1, which is equal to 14. That is less than 15, so that would not be a triangle. So our answer is the larger of the two, so 2 is less than x, is less than 28. And we always do the less, the smaller one, less than x, and then another less than symbol, the larger of the two. That's the right way to write that inequality.
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, which segment is the longest? Okay, so let's start comparing our two triangles. Let's look at triangle A, D, B. And let's list out our, our smallest to the largest. So look for the smallest angle. The smallest angle is A, D, B. So the smallest side is opposite of that, so that's A, B. The next largest angle, which is 59, so then AD goes next, and then our largest side is DB. Now look at the other triangle, triangle D, B, C. What's the common side that they share? Line those sides up. DB is the common side. So DB is our common side. Okay, how does that relate to the other sides? Well, our smallest angle is up here, so BC has to be less than DB because 59 is less than 60. I don't know how BC relates to these other two sides, but I know it's for sure less than. And I'm looking for the longest, so I'm looking for something that's bigger than DB, which happens to be DC. So DC is our answer. Okay, find all possible values of X that make that triangle, JKL, a triangle. So what you wanna do is set up an inequality. Set up JK plus KL has to be bigger than JL. So JK plus KL, that is 3X plus 21. That has to be bigger than 5X minus 9. So now solve for X, I subtract the 3X over. I add the 9. So I know X has to be less than 15. Now do it the next set. Do KL KL plus JL has to be greater than JK. So KL plus JL, so that's 7X plus 1 has to be greater than JK, well that's X plus 11, subtracting over, um, I subtract the one over, so that is going to be 10, I divide, and then we reduce, Now we have to set up our last set of inequalities. The last set, JK plus, what side haven't I used as my smaller side? I've used JL, I've used JK, so that's KL. I have JK, KL, I need JL there. So JK, plus JL, that's gonna be 6X plus two greater than 2X plus 10. Subtract the 2X over. Subtract the two over. X has to be greater than two. So I know for sure our final answer. X is gonna be sandwiched between two, small, two numbers. 15 is the larger of them. Now I need to decide between 5 thirds and two. 5 thirds, well that's one and one third. One and two thirds. 
So I know that all my X's have to be bigger than the bigger of these two. Because if I were to pick a number in between 1 and 2 thirds and 2 for X, one of these inequalities wouldn't be true. And I need to pick the numbers that are going to make all three inequalities true. So that's why X is going to be between 2 and 15. Okay, our proof. And this is actually going to be a nice short proof for you guys. First one, first step, as always, is the given. We have quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And we are given that. Step two. Let's think about what we're trying to prove. I'm trying to show that AB plus BC plus CD plus DA is greater than twice this side. Well, look at what we have there. If you split it up into the top and bottom triangles, we have, we know that AB plus BC has to be greater than AC, and CD plus DA also has to be greater than AC by our triangle inequality theorem. Two sides of a triangle have to be larger than the third. So then I know that AB plus BC plus CD plus DA has to be greater than twice AC has to be greater than, I just added the left sides and added the right sides, and that's a property of inequality. Okay, it's not addition. This is one of the addition properties, essentially, of equality. Of inequality, I'm sorry. And that's what we were trying to prove, so we are done. There are your lesson questions for the day. You have four questions. Please make sure they're submitted on time.